Well, the holiday season's here, a time to get together with family and friends, and most of those gatherings tend to revolve around food and drink. Tables filled with bite-sized buttery biscuits, deep-fried savory snacks, and fatty dips. Hard for anybody to resist, not to mention the rum and eggnog, but those tasty seasonal delights are full of calories, and this busy holiday season leaves you little time for exercise. So what do you do? Hey, news reporter Louise Hartland joins us now with some suggestions and some solutions, and we need them. Louise. Hudson, when it comes to staying on track during the party season, self-control and sticking to a routine are the name of the game. Charles Sunderman knows what it takes to keep in shape over the holidays. I just come into the gym four or five times a week. He's working extra hard with his personal trainer, Charlotte, to make up for the extra calories we all fall for this time of year. I try not to eat sweets. Um, I, I have a bit of a sweet tooth, so I try and stick with savory, and I just try to eat, you know, within reason. Not everyone has the willpower, though. If you're nibbling on the sausage rolls and the, and the spinach dips and things like that, and you're having conversation, you're doing mindless eating. You're not paying much attention to what you're putting in your body. That's when we tend to overeat with sugary treats, fatty foods, and salty snacks. Instead, focus on the vegetable platters and fresh foods. It's a good idea to eat before you go to a gathering, too. It will make it easier to avoid temptations. And, of course, the Christmas cheer. The calorie intake can pretty much be doubled, and people don't always think of that. So you got to watch the alcohol intake for sure. That's a very high calorie consumption. While most people assume they're going to put on a lot of pounds over the holiday season, the reality is it's not that bad. A New England Journal of Medicine study says the average person puts on one to two pounds. But the bad news is they never lose it. Over time, those pounds add up, eventually leading to health problems such as high cholesterol and diabetes. To save yourself down the road, it's important to eat well now. It's not just Christmas time, it's year-round. Uh, you know, you're out for dinners, things like that. If you're eating out a lot, everything's got hidden fats and sugars and all those nasty things that when you're home preparing your food, you're seeing what's going into your food. But no matter what you eat, Charlotte says you need to I work it off. In fitness is the most important thing for our bodies, right? And it doesn't mean you have to be running a marathon in the gym or, you know, it's getting out and being active. So trying to find that full balance. A balance that will keep you from tipping the scales this holiday season. Other tips to avoid overindulgence, drink lots of water. Not only does it make you feel full, it flushes it toxins out of your body. Try and drink two to three liters of water a day. And if you have a hard time getting to the gym, find a workout partner. You're more likely to go so you don't let your buddy down. Hudson. All right. Good advice. Louise, thank you.